Yo, my YouTube family, back again with another video for you guys. This one is just to let you guys know and also to raise awareness of what's happening in the DR Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Let you guys know. So there's been a volcan of volcan volcanic uh, volcano has erupted in Congo. So I'm trying to speak English. Volcanic eruption. <laughs> No, basically, volcano has erupted in Congo, and this happened. I think on Saturday. Today, where today is Monday, and yesterday Sunday. So, and it's so sad because the government has advised people to evacuate their homes, and people are running away. They've, they're taking their mattresses, some take other belongings, anything that they can carry, and also. The, the last time, according to the news article, because I read this from Reuters, so according to that, it says the last time volcano eruption occurred in Congo as was in 2002, and that killed a lot of people. A lot of people, other people were left homeless as well. So, and now this one's happened in 2011, 2021. Now another one has occurred, and I think this one. The city is it the city in your in your in Gongo. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. And according to what the article says, it says that the volcano eruption is, is spreading towards Goma, um, the city of Goma. So it's it's spreading towards there, and it just you just have to like keep on praying for all these people. Let them get away safely. Let them evacuate. Let no one be killed because. This is a natural disaster like there's no way you can like i don't know how can you control it or how can you it's not like it's it's something that is happening naturally and this is the see this second time i'm not sure if it happened before before 2002 but now okay as far as i'm concerned this is the second time it's happened now and like a lot of people are just saying that they're not aware that Congo is like has an active volcano that they, they, they didn't teach them in geography that the people live close to the volcano and something like and so on and so forth like a lot of discovery but and it's just that what can you do to prevent it is it that that people have to try and live further away from the volcano if it's possible like so that when it erupts it's less likely or it takes some more time before it spreads towards them and is that what it is i don't know like that's probably where it has to be because i swear there was there was not um just recently there was a volcano in uh St. Vincent, yeah. So there was a volcano in St. Vincent. So it's like this year has just been a year of volcano, volcano, volcano. Like what's going on? Like in this world we're living in, there's so much happening. So, so much, like so many things is happening. And even, I don't even know, like, because this one that is a natural disaster, it feels, I don't even have to explain it, how do I put this? Like a natural disaster, because it's something that's out of your our control, despite, because a lot of people are saying it's um, climate change, it's used to climate change. But at the same time, climate change just happening and so on because of how we're living. We're so used to consuming things and all this technology, all these cars, vehicles, everything. That's why I think obviously they're trying to switch to electric cars and all these hybrid cars to reduce. But at the same time, not many people can afford those cars. And it's so sad that it's always like the poorer countries, the poorer countries that has, like suffer the most when it comes to these things, these natural disasters, man. It's so sad because I bet they they are hardly consuming anything, consuming anything that is leading to say climate change. It's more of the countries, the richer countries, 
the more developed countries that are consuming a lot and um, their cars, everything. But then it's the poor, poorer countries that suffers it. It's crazy. Just you guys see how crazy that is. But this volcano is a serious thing, and we just have to keep on praying for the people of the DR Congo. Like have them our prayers and let them just all be safe and and so on. Because last time this happened, a lot of people lost their lives, and we don't want it to happen again. We don't want people to lose their life again. We don't want people to lose their life because uh, man, it's so sad. Volcano, volcano, wow. I don't know because even the the one that happened in Saint Vincent. All I could see, I remember seeing the video where it was just like there's a smoke or dust or something. Like a lady came out and her car was covered with it. It's ashes. Or ashes, right? Her car was covered with it with just pure ashes or uh, of dust of dust of ashes. Crazy. You know, we have to keep them in our prayers, guys. Keep on praying for them. Let this period just calm down, this volcano just calm down. Let the people be alive as well and pull up and come through. Make it out of these tough times. Because I think people are fleeing towards Rwanda. And you know how it is like, I pray that the people of Rwanda are welcoming as well. Because according to the article, saying that. They're accepting people and at the moment they're staying in like churches, churches halls and like schools for them to stay safe, actually somewhere for them to stay. This is times like, like this where we have to, that's why we have to be good to each other because you don't know when something's going to happen when you might have to leave your home to go to your neighbor's house or to your brother or your friend's place or to a neighboring country. like. Saying God just protect us and keep us all alive, keep them all alive as well. So that's the end of the video, guys. Just letting you guys know, raising awareness and stuff, what's going on for you, some people that may not know. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.